Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel again. Um, so this is my third and, like, final review for right now. But I might do more doll reviews later. Well, I actually might do more doll reviews after this because I need to do more doll reviews. But anyway, so this is my Enchantix Musa, my Glam Magic Enchantix Musa. And you're probably wondering why I put the, her extra Dance Night outfit onto this doll. Well, because she looks a lot more prettier in it than what my other one does. But the other one still looks pretty. I just like this one more because she has longer hair. But, like, as you can see, like, her hair is super long. And I gave her the necklace because there was only one necklace in this listing. So... Like, this is mine that I got from Canada a long time ago, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, you might have to scroll for a little while, but... Yeah, it's called my Best Winx Club Mailbox Unboxing Ever, which I think is what it's called. If not, it's something similar to that, but anyway. So yeah, that's her necklace. It's a weird little piece around her neck. No. I will not be reviewing this doll, because as you all know, I already reviewed her in her, like, her own video. So yeah, let me put my doll onto this stand, so yeah. Which, you'll be shocked once you see this one. Because only one of my friends have seen her, and he's a good friend from YouTube. So yeah. Just remember that once you see her, you will be shocked. Now this is a season one Musa, and I boil washed her hair. I boil washed it down. And it is really cool. Like, it is, really. But it took forever and a day to dry, so, yeah. Um, once I get this package from um, a trade that I did with this one person on YouTube, which his username is World of Winks, so, yeah. I did a trade with him, and his package is arriving someday, hopefully soon. But yeah, you'll see more, like, you'll see what I sent him in his video, and you'll see what I, what he sent me in my video, so. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, so her hair, starting off with her hair, is going to be a piece of crap to focus on, because my camera does not want to focus. For some reason I have yet to understand. There we go. Her hair is her normal dark blue with lighter blue streaks in it. But these this hair was up in her little pigtails, but like I said, I boil washed it down, which was hard to do. So yeah, I wish you luck to do it, to do this. So yeah, um, but it's her dark blue and she has tinsel throughout it. So yeah, it's really pretty, but it's all kinds of layers, like, I'll show you it, like, at the end of this video. So, let me start off with her makeup. And it's not wanting to focus. There we go. Okay, so she has this, like, really light purple eyeshadow on. With her red cheeks which is blush obviously um her lipstick is like a skin color with a red outline of it and yeah um she has these red earrings on which i gave her along like how i did with bloom i just gave her red little needles like and just stuck them in her ears like as you can see they're just normal pin needles. There you know what they look like, so I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time on that. Okay, anyway, moving on to her top, which could pass as a dress because this thing is so freaking cool. Why is it not wanting to focus? there it's really cool because like it's over her shoulders and like 
like this and it's long sleeved and then it flares out and then she has these this pink stitching over it and then she has like this little pink belt on like it's stitched on but it's like a pink belt with this green ribbon it reminds me of christmas because she has red and green on so yeah then on this sleeve it's the same and she has her purse this time but it looks like the side of bloom's butterflix wings so yeah um oh okay, sorry on to her pants i hate this material like it's this really scratchy crap i think it's satin or something but anyway um moving on to her shoes i got her um like hang on sorry um, her pair of shoes, like, okay, one time I was in this thrift store, and in this bag that was full of doll shoes, there was one of her shoes in it, so it was really cool to see, like, a Winx, like, um, Mattel item at a thrift store, so yeah, I don't know, I'm just, yeah, I'm weird about that, but, um, it's, like, this little heel, it's really cool, and then, yeah. Um, turn it around. See the other one? But yeah. And my Enchantix Musa is exactly the same, dressed up in the exact same outfit with her little purse, her shoes. This one, like I said, has her necklace on. And so, yeah. That's the only difference. Well, that and her long blue hair, which is Kineclon. So, yeah. That is a really good focus. Like, I don't know. I might post a few pictures of her on weeks and, you know, so. Yeah, if you follow me there, stay tuned and I will take pictures of, like, them. So, yeah. So, this will be the last that you see of her for a little while. Like, um, until weeks, I mean, you know. So, yeah. Why is this so much fun to do? I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. Now, anyway, moving on to, she got really tight. Yep. Yep. Her hair is soft. It's all kind of layers. It reminds me of Kim Possible's hair because, like, how it's poofy up top and then it goes really tiny at the ends and, like, pointy. But it's many layers and it's really pretty. Yep, so this has been my review on the Dance Night Muse doll by Mattel, so yeah. If you like her and like what I did with her hair, please comment down below. Um, like and subscribe and tell me, um, just tell me if you like this hairstyle on her. Um, so yeah. Bye.